Hi, this is Linda, and this is No Frills ASMR. A few weeks ago, I did a video discussing the two conferences, the National Football Conference and the American Football Conference, and how all the divisions of those conferences play each other to become division leaders, and then they play each other in the Super Bowl. And this is all in regards to NFL American football. But tonight, I thought we could try <laughs> to dig into just the basics of how football is played. And I plan to do a future video. Hopefully that goes into more of the different calls um, that sometimes they say and I just didn't really know what they meant exactly. I will give you an example. I just heard one the other night. Hold on, I wrote it down. Um, oh shoot, I thought I wrote it down. Oh, I can't. Well, I know an example. A pick six. They kept saying a pick six, and I would have thought, oh, <laughs> I don't know what that means. But actually, I do once I thought about it a little bit. Um, so calls like that, that maybe like the announcers say all the time, but assuming everybody knows it, but maybe everybody doesn't, I'll try to go into some of those. But on today's video, I'm going to do my best to try to talk about the, um, just basics of how the game's played. So if that seems like something that'll interest you, I am, by the way, not an expert. I'm kind of, I've watched football for the last 20 years, I'd say, since I had boys, um, I decided to start watching football so that I could know what's going on. Um, of course, not all of them are very interested, actually. Um, getting more interested now, I think. But anyway, so I know the rules, but when you try to think of how to explain it, all of a sudden, sometimes you don't know all the rules. But I've tried to understand it. And I'm going to share it with you. But if you're an expert on football, you know, go ahead and comment and let me know if I got things wrong and you can explain it to other people. <laughs> okay. So the basic is you have enough of football and on every team, has an offense a defense, and what are called special teams. Now, each of these can have 11 players on the field. So the offense is when you have the ball and you're trying to run the ball down the field. Your defense is trying to stop the other team from running the ball down the field. The special teams come out when there is a kick and we'll go into that a little bit. And and so they have, sometimes they use players from the offense and defense on special teams, but they have a group that are specifically for special teams. So these are all part of one football team, but they're out on the field at different times. So there are some players like the um, quarterback, he's a member of the offense. He's never going to be out when the defense is playing. Those will be your defensive guys. So... That's why sometimes certain players aren't on the field all the time because they're offensive and not defense or they're special teams. Okay, look at this. Where do you see this? What I have created. It's a football field. <laughs> okay. And I was thinking, well, okay, I'll tell you in a minute. Anyway, okay, so this is a football field. Obviously, because it's so show you. So a football field has a hundred yards. Yeah, a hundred. And then each side has an end zone. And in the end zone is a field goal. I didn't draw the field goal, but there's a field goal on each end zone. <laughs> so that's, we'll go into that more too. Um, 
so yeah so there's a hundred yards and then there's also the the end zones each have 10 yards so kind of technically it's 120 yards because this is 10 and this is 10 but the playing field is 100 yards so the 50 yard line is the center of the field um okay so to start a game hold on you know I was thinking of like using my chips for players and then I realized I made my field way too small my husband said I needed one of those like in the 70s they used to have these toys that were a football field and you'd put your guys on there and then it would shake and they'd move around <laughs> anyway didn't have one of those so but I realized now my poker chips are way too big so I was trying to think of what I could use and I went down to look in the game cabinet and that is when I found Risk Halo Wars Halo Halo Wars must have been one of my kids games <laughs> but this is gonna work well you see this hold on look at these little guys so I saw these guys are gonna make great referees look at him this dude's like what, what's this guy I don't know about him but this guy's a great referee okay and then we can use some of these guys one we need 11 two three four five six oops, seven eight nine ten oh my gosh wait there's like look this guy's like cute what is he he's huge he's almost too big to be a quarterback we'll use a big guy like that for a quarterback even though really quarterbacks are nice he should be more like a tackle or something but anyway okay so there's 11 and then we'll do maybe I should do the smaller it's gonna be too big okay this team is the other team one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Boy, these guys are a lot bigger. <laughs> this team's in trouble. Okay, so they meet up with the um, referee. This is the referee. And they toss a coin. And let's say red wins a toy coin toss. So that's the first thing that happens in the game is a coin toss. And then red wins, so he can say whether he wants to receive the kick or kick the ball. So there are different reasons why you'd want to either kick it or receive it. And I, at the moment, can't think of what exactly those are. Um, but anyway, so, you, so this guy's going to say, okay, we're going to receive it. So then... Oh, I'm not sure I'm going to have this right, but I think these guys line up their special teams. So this is where special teams come out and they're going to be back here. And I don't know if they have to be at a certain spot back here, actually, but you have your catcher kind of guy running back. No, not running back. I don't know what he's called. <laughs> oh, I should look that up. This guy, he's going to catch that ball. And then these guys are all lined up in here. I guess they have to be lined up up here. Okay, this part I don't know all the rules to. These guys are too big. I should have picked smaller creatures. And then these guys are back here. I think the 35-yard line is where they kick it towards them. I'm not sure. Okay. Don't worry. Once I line them up, I think I can raise them. So he kicks it. The ball goes... And this guy can either catch the ball and start running... Or if a whole bunch of these guys are starting to head towards him and he and the ball is coming straight, he might call a fair catch, which means he makes a signal and these guys cannot tackle him 
Because sometimes if you're looking straight up in the air when the ball's coming, you can't see. And these guys can come in and could really hurt a guy. So he can just say, fair catch. I'm going to just catch it at the you know 25-yard line and nobody can tackle me. Or if he doesn't call for a fair catch, he can catch it and try to run with it. But if he's looking straight up in the air and these guys are coming and he hasn't called fair catch, they can just bust him up right there. So a lot of times they'll call for fair catch and that's why nobody tackles them. So if you see that happen, that's why. And sometimes they call for fair catch and these guys are already heading towards them and they just, I don't know if they do it intentionally or not, but they'll tackle them and then they get a penalty. And I think it's a big penalty. I think it might be like a 15 yard penalty if, uh, if they tackle a guy who called fair catch. Okay. So let's say that's all happened, and now the red team has the ball at the 25-yard line. Here's what happens. These are each 10 yards, but what they actually have are called hash marks, and they go one, two, three, four. That was bad. This should be even. <laughs> okay. And so that's how the referee will take a chain and he'll figure out, okay, this is where the ball was caught. And then he'll take a chain that leads him out 10 yards. And he'll figure out where the 10-yard mark is. And that is where they're trying to get to. So every play, the team needs, not every play. Every, uh, how do I say this? Every fourth down. Okay, wait a minute. Let me think how to phrase this. I think I wrote down. No, of course I didn't. Okay, so what they're trying to do, everybody lines up at what's called the line of scrimmage. The line of scrimmage is where the ball is placed. That is the line of scrimmage. Every single time, they have four downs. And within those four downs, they have to move the ball 10 yards. So they have four chances to move the ball either by throwing the ball or running the ball up to the, I think they, not the goal line, but the, um, uh, lot. I don't know what they call it, but for e they get basically four chances, really three, <laughs> but it could be four. Okay. Now I feel like I'm really not explaining this well, but okay. So they're at the line of scrimmage, which on your television will look yellow because they use computer animation to show you where the line is that they're trying to get to and the line of scrimmage. That's not really on there, just so you know. It's a line that they're using a computer to generate. But on the field, they use a chain, and that's why sometimes you'll see that we got referees run out when there's some question on where the ball landed with a chain, and they'll lay it down and see if the ball actually made it to the point. Okay, so the quarterback, the, he's not called a snapper. What's he called? Mm. Okay, this guy, whose name I can't think. He has the ball at the line, line of scrimmage, and he, like, grabs the ball and sends it back to the quarterback. Now, the quarterback can either hand it off to one of the guys and they can try to run it. He can throw the ball because they're all going to start moving and this guy's going to come downfield. So he can throw the ball to one of these guys. But a lot of times they're being so heavily, you know, guarded that it's hard to do that. Or he can try to run the ball himself. So he's got to get the ball 10 yards, which seems like not that hard, but it's hard. It's really hard. So he gets one chance, oh, it doesn't work. They go back to line scrimmage. They try it again. Second chance, oh, still, you know, we moved it two yards, but we didn't get it 10 yards. Third chance, they got it. Now they're within two yards of where they need to be to get another four downs. Every time they get it 10 yards, then they get another set of four downs. So, okay, oop, we made another thing. We get another four downs. Oop, we made another thing. We get another four downs. And a down is a play. They call it a down because you get tackled or whatever, and the ball is down. So that's why it's a down, but it's a play. So you get four plays each time. But if by the third play, let's say they're stuck right here, and they've done three plays now, and they're like, okay, what do we do? We can either go for it and try one more time to make it, 
or we send in our special teams and they kick it, punt it, they kick it back and the other team gets it wherever the kick lands. And sometimes you think, why don't they just go for it? They're so close. But the problem is if these guys, if they don't make it, if they stop them, and they don't make it, then these guys get to have the ball right here at that 20 yard line. And they are so close to their end zone there. So you really want to kick it, get it back down here where it's harder for them to get into their end zone. Whew. Boy, I don't know, guys. I don't know about this. Am I explaining? Okay, so there's two kinds of kicks. Let's do that. Well, no, there's three kinds, isn't there? I guess there's the kickoff, which we did at the beginning of the game, and you kick it off. There's the punt which is like I told you when they didn't make it to the fourth down they're on the they're on the third going on the fourth down then they can punt it back and then they get it wherever they have it here and then there's a field goal kick which I didn't make a note for but okay I all right let's get rid of all these guys let's just pretend we have 11 guys it's too confusing I can't do that many okay so now the green guy has it right here and this let's pretend this is the touchdown and this is um one of their guys trying to tackle him well he's got the ball and he runs it and he runs it and this guy can't catch him uh, and now he's got it into the end zone as soon as the ball crosses the end zone even if he goes this way out of bounds but his hand has the ball and it crosses as long as it crosses this line in any way even if he even if he falls down and he has to stretch his hand out but the ball gets in there as long as his knees aren't down first before that ball gets in then it's a touchdown i got the sharpie on my hand so now he made a touchdown and a touchdown is worth six points so a touchdown is six points <laughs> And then the team goes, hmm, okay, that's pretty good. We will now send in our um, kicker. And the kicker comes in, and this team is all lined up. <laughs> and they go, I think they kick from the 20-yard line. So this team, you got 11 players still. Picture, picture it. There's 11 guy, red guys here and 11 green guys here. But he's going to, he has to snap the ball to the kicker. And then the kicker kicks it to make a field goal. And there's a field goal post that looks like that. And he's got to get it within the field goal post. Now, for most of these kickers, a kick like this is a pretty simple kick. They miss it occasionally. But most of them have, you know, these are professional players. They're pretty good. So unless they slip or don't grab the ball, you know, things can happen or in one of the games last week I think um you know one of these guys can run up and catch that ball and just psh, knock it out and then he never gets to kick it but it's a pretty fairly safe bet that this kicker is going to make that extra point and so that is called a one point conversion so that is why usually a touchdown with the one point conversion is seven points. So that's why most people go, oh, he just needs another seven points. Because once you make a touchdown, it's pretty um, expected that you're going to be able to make this one point conversion. It's kind of rare that this doesn't work. But it happens, and especially like at a field like... Um, in Pittsburgh, AccuSure Stadium, they have wind, really high wind, because they have an open stadium, and that can screw up people's kicks sometimes, or if somebody blocks it, or, you know, if this guy slips, so it happens. But the other thing they could do, let's say it's a, it's a game with a, mm, I don't, I, if I come up with a score, it's going to be goofy, but let's say it's a 14 to 15 game. They've gotten their six points, and now it's Okay, somehow it's 14 to, to, sorry, 16, 14 to 16, let's say. So the one point conversion is only going to get this team up to 15 to 16. So they're like, 
forget doing the one point conversion. We're going to try to go for it. And this would be called a two point conversion. So all they have to do is take it from the two yard line, which is right here <laughs> and get it in for, and then they'll get two points and they'd tie up the game. And I always feel like, boy, that seems pretty easy. You could just have the quarterback push it in, you know, or do a little, what they call a quarterback sneak, a tush push. <laughs> or, uh, you know, just do a quick toss and get it there. But I'll tell you, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. It's a very risky play because I, a lot of times they don't make it. But anyway, that's what a two-point conversion is or what they call they're going to go for it. That means you're keeping your regular offense team out there and you're just going to try to get that ball in for two more points instead of taking the one point extra point kick. Okay. Did I? I didn't cut that out. Okay. So, yeah, that's called a two point conversion at the two yard line. All right. And then the other way you can get points. There are two more ways, actually. I forgot to. Okay. Well, let's talk about. All right. So let's say you're trying to move the ball down the field, but you keep getting mm, held up. And then finally you're at your third um, down, but you've made it to the like 46 yard line. Now you're within what they call field goal range. And I think guys have now made it from the 50, I mean, back here, they've made it like 59 yards now. Like there are some kickers who can really kick, but it, you know, let's say you made it around here. They, they will tell you on, when you watch a broadcast, they'll show you a field goal line. And what that is, that doesn't mean it's like illegal. It means that's how far that kicker has ever kicked a ball, <laughs> you know, to make a field goal. That's his furthest kick. So they try to get it within range of what their kicker can do, what they're pretty confident their kicker can do. And then they try to, and this part I'm always confused by, they try to set the ball basically in a spot the kicker likes, which I'm kind of confused by that because I didn't, I thought it was always in the center of the field. I should have looked that up. Somebody in the comments explained that. I don't really know. But anyway, so then they go, okay, we're not going to try to go any further. We're just going to go for the kick, field goal kick, which gets me three points. So let's say you have a game where it's 14 to 16. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I guess that would work if you had two touchdowns, two extra points and a safety. 14 to 16. So then you're like, okay, we only need two points, really. So if we get a field goal, we win the game if you're the four team team. So then they're like, forget it. We're not going to try for a touchdown. We're just going to go for a field goal because we're within a good range of our kicker easily making a field goal. So now instead of on fourth down, you just have your kicker, not just because this is hard actually, but they go, kick and they get it through the field goal and that is a three-point field goal and I've seen many games won by field goal kickers it's an important job that a lot of games are won by field goals um okay and then there's one other kind of scoring called a safety and a safety is when Let me make sure I have this right in my head. Hold on. Let's see if I... I'm like, keep looking to see if I have a note. And I don't. <laughs> okay. I know what it is. Okay. It is when, let's say, you... <laughs> How do I explain this? I don't want to try to explain how they ended up here, but let's say they ended up here. Okay. And their quarterback, this guy is trying to throw the ball this direction. He's trying to get his team down the field in this direction, but the line of scrimmage is way back here. And so when he goes to grab the ball, he ends up in his, in, in the other team's goal, um, um, touchdown. Oh my gosh. 
gosh, I'm forgetting the word. But anyway, he ends up here. And these guys run over and tackle him while he's in there with the ball in his hands. They've tackled him. Look at them all. Good grief. They're all over him. All right. Then their team gets two points. Is that right? <laughs> I think that's right. And that's a safety. Yeah. So if you tackle the other team's quarterback in your own, um, I can't think of the word for this right now, touchdown area. What's the word I'm looking for? Oh my gosh. Goal. Anyway, then you get two points and that's a safety. Let me just see if I wrote that down because now I'm nervous. That's not right. A safety. Um, a sack in the other team's own end zone. Oh yeah, I should tell you if if a team uh, if the t if the uh, quarterback has the ball and he's trying to throw the ball and the other team comes and tackles him, that's called a sack. When they they tackle him while he's trying to throw the ball, that's a sack. Um, so okay, in the other team's own end zone. Yeah, I think I got that right. That's a safety. And then what I brought up earlier, a pick six, is when. <laughs> Let's say they're playing doot, 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 doot. And this, this red team here has the ball. And he goes, ah, oh, my players are down the field. They're doing great. So he's throwing the ball to his own guy, his red guy. Shh, ball's coming up. And this guy jumps up. He catches the ball. This is the other team. And he goes and runs it in for a touchdown. That's called a pick six because he picked the ball from their team he picked it and then he ran it in for six points so that's a pick six so that's what i'm talking about some of those terms i feel like i hear a lot like play action and we have to go over those but that has to be a separate video because i don't i have to research them but i did just look up pick six the other day okay what else um <laughs> so oh i never even used this card so we learned about the line of scrimmage that's where they all line up um, nobody can actually be on the line of scrimmage. That's where the ball goes, except for, oh my, I keep not thinking of his name, but he's the guy who snaps the ball. Um, I don't know. I can't think of what his name. Um, but each play or down, they try to advance it to the first down. They advance it 10 yards. If they get the 10 yards, they're awarded 10 more yards. If they get those 10 yards, they're awarded 10 more yards. So they keep getting closer and closer and closer. If they get stuck at this point, they can have somebody, they can have their kicker come in and kick it for a field goal, or they just keep trying to get into the end zone. If they're too far away from the field goal to make a kick, that would, their kicker can't make that long of a kick. Then they have to turn it over um, by either kicking a uh, punting it back to the other team or they can keep trying and they're going to have to turn the ball over on downs because they had too many downs. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. What do you think? What else did I forget? Uh, what I see, I did I do all this? Yeah, okay. I don't know. trying to think what else so yeah the line of scrimmage can be anywhere it's just where but you know they mark it so the referees come out and they mark the spot where the ball is and then with a chain they measure it 10 yards and they mark that and that'll be the line of scrimmage um oh i know one other thing every quarter i'm pretty sure every quarter they switch directions so the first quarter, they, the red team might be heading this direction. But then the second quarter, they flip it and they head this direction. And part of that's because it just makes it more fair. So like in certain stadiums, the sun might be shining down and might be kind of blinding. Or there might be a really strong headwind, you know. Um, 
or it might be even just muddier down on the side of the field. And this is more in outdoor stadiums. I assume in those indoor stadiums, it's probably not as important, but they still, they switch. I think it's every quarter they switch and they're four quarters. Each quarter is 15 minutes. The game runs technically 60 minutes. Um, there are two halves and four quarters, but I think generally a football game takes about three hours because you have uh, timeouts, you have um, just stopping a play for injuries. They now they you know of course they stop play for commercial breaks, so I think they play in about three hours. Um, what else could I did I not say? Um, Uh, I did look up there are 11 players on the field at a time, but a team can have 53 players, but on a game day, only 46 of them can be dressed for game day. So you have to have some players who aren't, you know, so you have to pick who you're going to have ready to go. Um, uh, da, da, what else? I can't think of anything else. All right. Well, we're going to have to, like I said, work on some of the um, terminology. I have to study that a little bit more. Um, I know this wasn't perfect <laughs> or even close to perfect, but you know, we tried. <laughs> so yeah, in the comments, feel free if you, if there's anything you're like, yo, you totally missed <laughs> this one thing. Punts kickoffs regular kick so there's kickoff is I guess more at the beginning of the game and then punt is what you do when you're returning the ball to their team because you didn't make make it 10 yards within four downs and then I guess the one that the field goal kicks just called a field goal kick I think and that's when you're trying to get the three points for a field goal and then the extra point kick I think you just called the extra point kick and that's after a six point touchdown, you do the extra point for, or extra kick for one point. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to think what else. First down, field goals, three points. So, yeah, so the different score is touchdown six, one point conversion. So that makes the seven points that a lot of times you see on the board. A two-point conversions when they decide to do this instead of the one point. So after a touchdown, you choose if you want to do one-point conversion, which is a kick, or a two-point conversion, which is your offense goes on the two-yard line. Um, and then a safety is two points. Um, and then a field goal. Yeah, that's three points. So, yeah, basically you can either do a touchdown for six points or a field goal for three points. And if you do a field goal, you don't get to do any of the conversion things. That's just after the touchdown. Yep. And yeah, I can't think of anything else. you uh have any other thoughts about that <laughs> I tried I tried to do this I, I have been thinking about doing this for a um for since I posted the last video but I kept just getting a little caught up in how to do it and then I just tonight was like I'm just gonna do it <laughs> whatever um but yeah, I'll try to do another one with terminology. I thought I might do one on the history of like team names or even the history of teams because that's kind of interesting. I had another idea today. I can't remember. 